action cameras. People tried to capture footage from first person view with a camera way back in time because they sparked an emotion to the people who are watching it. It connected with the people who are in action. It made them think they are with the character. It was more dramatic, more extreme and more realistic. In 1960s, a guy called Bob Sinclair, a skydiver, he mounted his camera on his helmet while skydiving. Despite all this, many people continue to strive for first-hand footage. During the 1970s, Steve McQueen fixed a sizable camera on his helmet for a film. In 2004, Nicholas Woodman introduced the first GoPro Hero 35mm film camera. This is amazing. You will use it anywhere and everywhere. You want to be able to simply just pop this up and snap a picture, manually wind it, and it's completely waterproof. We're even going to give you 24 exposures of film when you order this. Is that right? That's correct. Preloaded. In 2006, they made it digital and the rest is history. And now, GoPros are the most popular action cameras out there. I got my first GoPro in the year 2017. It was a GoPro Hero 5 flag and I was over the moon when I got it. Uh, I took it to all of my motorcycle rides and uh, took it to a couple of treks in the Himalayas and it worked flawlessly. I was in love with the GoPro. So much so, in 2019, just before going to my All India ride, I went ahead and bought a GoPro Hero 7 Black second hand. Uh, and I thought that uh, it'll be a you know good backup cam to my Hero 5. And I the All India ride was a once in a lifetime thing for me. So I wanted to capture everything on that ride. And then I started off my ride and when I reached Ooty, I started to notice a lot of issues, a lot of problems going on with the Hero 7 Black. It was turning itself off and it started to freeze and all of that. So I uh, called the customer service and uh, told them that this is going on. And I was somehow managed to convince them that this, this camera is actually faulty. So they told me that they'll replace the product for me, but I was not actually in a position where I can send this product out to them because I was constantly on the move. I was not really able to do that. So I thought I'll figure this out once I come back from the ride, when I reach home, right? I was really disappointed because I bought this camera just for this particular purpose, just to shoot uh, stuff on this ride and I was not really be able to do that. And as soon as I came back from the ride, I replaced the camera and I got a brand new GoPro Hero 7 Black. At this point, I made a horrible decision. <laughs> I decided to sell the Hero 5 which was working flawlessly and most of the videos that uh, you see on this channel have all been shot on that GoPro Hero 5, right? I sold it, now I'm stuck with the Hero 7 uh, black I got as a replacement. It was fine for a week or two, then again the Hero 7 black I got as a replacement started to show some problems. At this point I came to realize that the the product that they're sending out as a replacement are not really brand new products, right? And when I received the second camera as a replacement, I was really skeptical about it and it did not come as a surprise. That camera was also was faulty. It was showing some issues and it was not my fault. I was, I was using all GoPro genuine products. The batteries were genuine. I was using the recommended SD cards in the GoPro and even the mounts, right? By this time, I had collected a lot of mounts for the GoPro because the whole system actually work on mounts. And the second camera I got as a replacement was also faulty. I, I was done. I was done. I was done with GoPros. I was done with action cameras. I just wanted to live a peaceful life. So I sold it. So whenever I go out to ride, I started to miss this uh, ability to capture and I started to miss it. So I was constantly monitoring the action camera market when I didn't have a GoPro. Uh, and that's when the DJI came out with their line of action cameras, the Action 1 and 2. 
and uh, the GoPros, uh, uh, GoPro came out with uh, Hero 8, 9, then 9 was extremely buggy uh, and the uh, Insta360 X1 and 2 came out and that's when the GoPro released their new GoPro Hero 10 with the new chip, the GP1 chip. That got me actually interested. I uh, pulled the trigger and went ahead and got the Hero 10. I thought they might have fixed the, the reliability issues uh, with the GoPros. I thought that it'll, it's gonna work great. That is the camera I'm using right now, which is the GoPro Hero 10. And the Hero 10 have been really good, especially not having to use the camera for two long years. The, uh, the image quality was amazing, uh, the, the, the stabilization, uh, the, all the features that it had, I was really enjoying it. Until me and my friends went to Munar uh, on this new year, uh, I took out this camera uh, when, when we reached, when we were riding through a cool road, I took out the camera to capture it. Uh, I had two batteries, both full. When I pressed the record button, it had only 7% battery left. I took out the battery out and put in another battery, which was also full. I put that in and it had 50 or uh, battery left and uh, I pressed recording I, I've started recording um, and after like five minutes it shut off when I checked the battery was bulged this was probably the reason why the battery level was showing low and when I asked them for replacement and they were not ready to replace the batteries for me and it cost me 2500 or something it's very expensive these batteries and just to confirm my assumption i bought the new gopro enduro batteries and it worked perfect didn't have an issue till now but i don't know for how long this is gonna work <laughs> after having such a horrific you know dark experience that i've uh, that I've had with this uh, GoPro. If you go on the internet right now or on the YouTube, you can see people complaining about how GoPro was horrible to them. Overheating being the most popular one, I think. And it blows my mind that even after 11 incremental upgrades, GoPro did nothing to fix their reliability. I can, GoPro is not sponsoring, I can say whatever I want, but yeah, no, I spend no so much money on GoPro, oh man, the amount of money I spend on GoPro, it's unreal, it's thousands, thousands of dollars. Oh know, really? So, yeah. Do you kill them a lot? So, if, I have a whole collection, because they do break all the time as well, they're terrible. Although the one, the latest one... Don't think yeah, they're sponsoring the festival, are they? No. No. Sorry. I think the problems with GoPro lies much beyond this. Fix the mounting mechanism. GoPro is designed to work with the mounts that they make, right? And a faster way to mount and unmount from one, one to another is long overdue. Do what the DJI and other action cameras are doing, a magnetic mount or something like that. Just come up with something new. The GoPro Quick app. I have not used a more ridiculous app than the GoPro Quick. Like it takes forever to connect uh, the, uh, the camera to the mobile phone. And I've been using this app from uh, the moment I got the Hero 5 and it has not improved at all. I think GoPro stopped innovating like they once used to. Uh, now what they're doing is uh, they're copying uh, features from other cameras like DJN and Insta360 and putting it on the GoPro. and. Apart from the image quality that the GoPro have even now, I don't think any other feature actually stands out. Like for example, the front screen uh, is from the DJI uh, cameras and also the horizon leveling is from the Insta360 cameras. Like they're copying a lot more now. I'm not saying it's bad, but where is the innovation and after all this i don't think i can let let go of my gopro just yet because of the audio right in case if you want to ride your motorcycle and record the audio even though gopro have not uh, given uh, a 3.5 mm jack on the body itself they made us 
by the media mod for that even though they did that uh, it is the audio that comes out of it it's much less hassle compared to DJ or the Insta360 to get better uh, audio from this particular camera and which I, I, I really like about it and especially the audio that is coming out from the media mod is really impressive but I don't trust it it's because of the reliability I've, I have friends who uh, own DJI and Insta360 and all that all of the all of these cameras are reliable I don't trust the GoPro for its reliability this is just an experience of a product that I've owned and loved for a long time. I have no intention to, you know, uh, uh, spread hate on this product or uh, demote the product. None of that. I really want them to do well. I want them to innovate. I want them to experiment, do all of that and come out with a good product.